video is going to be a DIY video and before when I used to do DIY videos it would be very like mainstream like DIY school supplies like you know like colorful saturation to like 100 but I thought I would do a DIY video that pertains more to my style right now and what I like so I wanted to do a retro kind of aesthetic themed video um as you guys know, I'm like a 90s wannabe. I wear like breads in my hair like every day, which is kind of like embarrassing because I look like I'm five, but it's fine because they're cute. I thought I would show you guys some very cheap and easy DIY clothing items because you see a lot of these videos, but they're all like, oh, get some transfer paper. I'm like, okay, no one has that in their house. Like I want to do some that like literally as you're watching this video, you can do it with me that are very cheap. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. Um, as you guys probably know, if you guys have been on my channel, I just did like a $400 like winter haul. And let's just say I'm feeling the effects of that right now. I was feeling splurgy. I did that, all the energy is out, but now I'm feeling the effects. I'm very poor. So I thought I would do a very cheap DIY video for you guys because I need to do this. So I just wanted to film it. This is very mediocre. Definitely not the best clothing, I'll tell you that. But I think they're very cute. So I hope you guys like it. <laughs> So for the first DIY, I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to embroider my jeans. Um, I have these pair of jeans that I wear like a lot, but they're just like normal black jeans. So I thought I'd spice it up with a DIY. I have this little sewing kit from Target. Um, I literally just already had it in my house. You could literally get these at like the Dollar Tree, like it's nothing crazy. I mean, a lot of you guys are probably going to be yelling at me like, oh, like use like embroidery floss, all that stuff. Like literally no one, like I'm, I don't have that at my house and I'm not gonna like go out of my way and get it. I already threaded um, a really, really long piece of red thread. Don't know if you guys can see that, but it's there. I'm just going to take my jeans right here and what i plan to do is go on this part of the pocket and kind of add like little red design parts i don't really know how to describe it like a candy stripe like kind nah, candy cane like a candy cane stripe on here yeah that's basically it so super easy really requires no technique all right so i'm done embroidering i guess kind of just with like sewing thread uh, but I have the candy stripe bottom pockets, that's what it's called, okay. That's the embroidery pockets right there. I like how it looks a lot. Um, it definitely looks handmade, but I think that's why I like it a lot. I like when a lot of outfits look like you put a little extra effort into it, like you did something to it to make it your own. So I like it a lot. I just think it adds like a really nice pop of red because I think black and red look really nice together. But I did not stop there. I put baby on the back right here on the booty. I think all in all, it took me around 10, 15 minutes to do all of this, which is not that long. Like I thought it would take me like 30, but here I am. Everything looks very unprofessional, but it's fine. It, I meant it to look like that. <laughs> For DIY number two, I'm going to show you guys how to change plain old white socks into really cute checkered socks. Yeah. The only thing you're going to need for this, a pair of socks and a Sharpie. Um, I read online that Sharpie is more or less the same as fabric marker because it's permanent. I mean, don't really recommend washing these a ton, so don't wear them a lot, you know what I mean? Like, because it would fade and all that stuff. but. I think for like a couple wears, I feel like it's worth it. It's super easy to do. The first thing I'm gonna start off with is figure out how much checkered I want, if that makes sense. For me, I have these crew socks right here. I'm not really sure why they're pink on the bottom. Disregard that. Uh, but I think I wanna start halfway from here and go on top. I'm also only gonna be doing this on one sock because I actually have like a real pair of checkered socks So I don't need to make two but I thought I would show you guys how to make it if you guys don't have your own checkered socks Like I feel like everyone has a sharpie and white socks. I'm gonna start off on the top so I can use the top as a guiding point on what a straight line is if that makes sense so as i said before i'm just going to take this sharpie right here and use it let me see maybe this is better use it as a guideline for a straight line i'm just going to use really thin small strokes because i don't want the ink to bleed too much so here's what i have so far 
and then i'm just going to make vertical lines upwards i'm just going to kind of eyeball it like it definitely doesn't have to be perfect like they're literally just socks no one's going to care too much if the boxes are off so here are half the boxes and then i'm just going to color in every other one here's the first line you guys can see where i'm going with this so afterwards oh gosh i'm just going to make another line kind of trying to emulate that straight line that's above and then repeating so i'm just going to make vertical lines just extending from the ones that i already made and then coloring in every other one que reste de nos amours? Que reste de i am done with the like first side of it um i'm a lazy piece of so I'm only going to do this side and one sock because as I said before, like I already have a pair of checkered socks so there's no point for me to do any more but um, you guys get the gist. Just do this on the other side and then on the other sock. I think from far away, it looks really, really nice. Here's what it looks like up close. I mean, if you look up close, you can tell that you did it yourself, but I really like the washed out, kind of imperfect look. Imperfect look. That's DIY number two. And I think it took about five minutes to do this side. So all in all, I think it would take around 20-ish give or take minutes to do two pairs with one pair of socks <laughs> initially i wanted to do an entire diy aesthetic retro uh outfit but i couldn't think of anything to do for a shirt because i literally already showed you guys how to embroider on your pants embroider and just use a sharpie to decorate anything that you want so i just did with socks so you guys can definitely do that with shirts um that's basically it. I was going to tell you guys a couple thrifting tips, but I already filmed it and it was like super stupid. So literally just thrift through your clothes, like find the colorful stuff, crop things if you want to. Don't be too scared if they're not in your size, like you literally can just change it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I am the worst, but I'm going to go on to accessories. I have these hoops right here that I got from... Claire's, I think, something like that. You guys can definitely get these hoops from literally anywhere, like Target, Amazon. These are just little baby hoops, and I love them on their own. They're very cute. I think they add a really nice touch to it. But if you want to spunk up your outfit a little bit more, you guys can just add charms to it. There's no need to get new earrings if you could just switch them out on your own. So I got these charms right here. I have this happy face one. What's it called? Sweetheart. And I have a monarch butterfly right here that I'm going to show you guys. I have a ton of other charms and what I do is I literally just take the charms and I put them in the hoops like this. So it just looks like a totally different new earring. If I had a purple charm, I unfortunately don't, but if I wore these hoops with a purple charm, like, oh, the purple would just jump out and it would look so good. So I get a lot of compliments and people asking me like, hey, where'd you get those earrings? And I'm literally like, it's just a hoop and a charm so there's no point of buying more than one pair of earrings if you could just change them up with like one dollar charms uh you could buy charms like these from little etsy shops even though this could be a little bit pricey uh i got mine from two purple pandas.com i really like them they're super cute i bet you can get charms from like the dollar tree something like that like little beads like those 90s like inspired beads that you can get from the dollar tree i think those are really cute too another idea that i have is if you already have the sewing kit from doing the embroidery all the sewing kits come with safety pins so you can just add a safety pin to your earring and i feel like it's just a cute soft grunge look i don't know i really like it i think it's adorable super cheap all you needed was a hoop and a safety pin Alrighty, so that about wraps up the entire video i hope you guys enjoyed uh definitely a little mediocre but i thought you guys would like just a little insight from what i do a lot for my clothes and just little things to do that you probably haven't thought of so i am thinking that this is going to be a part one of a little series i'm going to do uh, I think my next video is going to be aesthetic retro hair and makeup. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. 
Um, I probably might do it anyways, but I think a little reassurance would make my heart happy. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, see you guys later. Bye!